Hi guys, I'm Heron. Hey, I'm Emily. Tomorrow we are going to Philadelphia <laughs> in search of the best Philly cheesesteak. For those of you who don't know what a Philly cheesesteak is, it's basically an iconic sandwich from Philadelphia. So generally speaking, a Philly cheesesteak is a roll, and in the roll is thin slices of beef or steak and cheese. Options of toppings include onions, but that's totally up to you. So we asked you on Snapchat to vote for your favorite Philly cheesesteak, and we're headed there to figure out what our favorite is. Four different cheesesteaks, four different places. Let's see which one tastes the best. Let's go. First stop, John's Roast Pork. So why is John's Roast Pork your favorite Philly cheesesteak place? It's my favorite because you get the most steak, you get the, like the best cheese, you get the most out of it. This is John. He's the third generation owner of the restaurant. What's the first time we should get? I think you should just go to straight classic American cheese and onions. John believes simplicity is key when it comes to a great cheesesteak. He uses thinly sliced steak and chopped onions as his base. The restaurant's called John's Roast Pork. You guys are equally famous for your own food. You know, that's only happened in the last like 10 years. Around 2001, we were written up by Craig LeBan of the Empire as having the best cheesesteaks. You know, ever since then, it's been crazy. An important little detail, John scoops out some bread from the fresh roll. People ask me, like, why is your sandwich different than any of the others? And the reason why is, like, we cook everything fresh. You won't come here and get your sandwich right away. We cook everything individually. It's like the size of an infant. It really is, like, Opening a present. That's gonna be the best bite right there. Are you ready for the first bite here? I am. I'm ready for the first bite. No one. The thing I like most about this cheesesteak is that the American cheese and beef are like piping hot and like kind of like congealed together. My initial thoughts are that I watched Karen eat this first and I'm drooling. I'm so ready to try this. Mm. Oh, dude. I'm having one of those moments where it's like, there is nothing better than some great food. <laughs> Like, that's just the greatest feeling in the world, to bite into something this good. You can tell how fresh the beef is. It's really just like chewy and delicious and it melts in your mouth at the same time. Next up, Jim Steaks on South Street. What are the best cheesesteaks in Philly? Jim Steaks. Yeah, Jim's is the best cheesesteaks in Philly. Jim's is the place for the Philly cheesesteak because we've been doing it for 42 years. We know what we're doing. It's the love that goes into making every sandwich. Top round Black Angus beef is sliced paper thin and distributed into 30 pound containers. The steak is tossed and broken down into smaller chunks on the griddle. Someone's never had a Philly cheesesteak before. I always tell them to keep it simple. So for us, it's whiz, wit, and that's cheese whiz, steak, and onions. And that's all. The fresh roll then gets dressed with a slab of cheese whiz. Meat and onions are swiftly added on top. And of course, a drizzle of extra cheese whiz makes the sandwich complete. Right off the bat, 
the cheesesteak is quite messy and greasy, but in a good way. Just a quick update for everyone. Um, we smell like cheesesteak now. Just, we embody cheesesteak. I'm cake. sweating it out my pores. <laughs> Sorry, that's a nasty visual. About 25 minutes outside Center City is D'Alessandro's Steaks and Hoagies, our third stop. Each cheesesteak starts with finely chopped ribeye steak. Up to 40 to 50 pounds of steak can be sitting on the griddle at one time. So when you come in and order cheesesteak with us, I always recommend American as your first option. That's our most popular cheese. We want everybody to get the cheese experience. Also, we offer cheese with just as an option, although we don't recommend it. That's more of a South Philly way to do it. Our final stop was Pat's King of Steaks. The restaurant is open 24-7 and you can always rely on them to have a cheesesteak ready for when you come. Unfortunately, the restaurant did not allow us to film the making of the cheesesteaks, so we just had to order one. My initial thoughts immediately are that the ratio of the amount of beef is in here is quite smaller than all the other places that we've been to. Also, the bread is not as soft. Pass is probably one of the places that everyone said we should go to, so maybe it just tastes a lot better than it looks. It is a good cheesesteak, um, but I feel like I'm a little underwhelmed. It's what everyone talks about as like a go-to spot, but honestly, favorite. The beef is a little bit dry. It tastes like it was thrown together super quick, which is like the whole point of this place. You know, the point is you get in, get your cheese stick, and you get out, and it satisfies that craving totally. We asked other customers what they thought. What do you like most about Pass's cheese sticks? The history, number one. Just a good quality sandwich. We like Jim's steaks as well. We wanted to come here because it's a little more famous. After eating four cheesesteaks in one day, it was time for us to go home. We just came back from Philadelphia. We almost had to stay an extra night just to recover, but we're back. And it also gave us time to marinate our thoughts, and now we have a definitive ranking of our preferred cheesesteak place. 
Do you have a ranking? Yes, I definitely have a top to bottom ranking. All right, so coming in hot at number four, definitely Pat's. I have to agree with you. I think it was because we tried so many other great cheesesteaks that day, and that one just did not live up to like the freshness uh -huh. of the other ones. It tasted like the fast food version of everything else we ate that day. It was definitely the fastest, the most convenient, but it tasted the least fresh. All right, so number three. Jim's. I agree too. Yeah, beloved gym steaks. I really liked it. The thing is, I have honestly not a bad thing to say about it. It just wasn't in my top two. Gyms though, I feel like it hit all the right points. Everything about it was great, but that was it. If I do have to say one thing, I feel like gyms is one of those places that tourists and locals will go all together, and it's the quintessential, what did you say, the quintessential Philly cheesesteak? It felt like an iconic location, and that, to me, made it an experience in and of itself. So number two is where we diverge in opinion. Why don't we count down three, two, one, and then say our second favorite. Three, two, one. John Saunders. Why was Del Sandro's second for you, and not first? Del Sandro's was delicious. Okay. I thought the meat was really, really finely chopped, which I understand is the appeal. To me, I, that wasn't my preference. Now we know why Del Sandro is my second choice. Obviously, it's your first, so we'll get into that in a second. Why is John Soros Pork your second favorite? John Soros Pork is, in a way, the exact opposite of Del Sandro's because John Soros Pork has really chunky, beefy texture, whereas Del Sandro's is like very finely chopped. Everything was fresh to order. But the meat for me, because it was so chalky, I didn't like it. That's fair, I mean that's fair. I think this comes down to a difference in meat preference. Yeah, so the reason why Del Sandro's for me was the best is because it was finely right. chopped. The reason why it was my top favorite is because they added mayonnaise. If you don't yeah. like mayonnaise, you can get the Del Sandro's without mayo. The four places we visited were all, I mean, very good places. You guys the recommended best. them. The bar was set very high. I would go back to each and every one of those places. I was enormously happy all day long. Insert Philly cheesesteak montage now. You know, um, 